This is the high point of Jürgen Wolter's first year as a beekeeper. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. The honey is being removed from the hive and Jürgen is helping for the first time. Let's see what's under here. Every move has to be carried out properly when he opens the hive under the instruction of an experienced beekeeper. After all, up to 50,000 bees are crawling around in here and they aren't eager to give up their honey. They're all really full. Quite a bit of weight. We'll get a lot of good honey. Jürgen doesn't have any bees of his own yet. This year he leased a colony. The hive is in his beekeeping colleague's garden. And after the honey is gathered, Jürgen will have to decide whether to begin taking care of the bees himself. In this way, Jürgen, who's actually a horticulturist, can try out beekeeping and see whether it suits him. He pays almost 100 euros an hour for lessons and gets 10 kilos of honey as a reward. It's much simpler when you have someone to help you. To be honest, I wouldn't have done it alone, but because Matthias helped me, everything was easier and more understandable. I never had a problem with bees, but it would have been too much to try to become a beekeeper by myself. Because there are complex things to learn. Matthias shows Jürgen how to drive the honey out of the honeycomb with a centrifuge. A few curious people from the village have come to watch. Children in particular are fascinated by the gold and viscous fluid. And bees do more than produce honey. Honey bees are essential for the balance of nature. We could do without honey, there's always hazelnut spread, but honey bees are essential for pollinating plants. If there were no more bees, nature would change radically. And without the aid of beekeepers, bees could hardly survive in Europe. He protects them from a mite that otherwise infests the young bees. There aren't enough professional beekeepers anymore, so the Nordhofer Beekeeper Association has introduced leasing. The result is three to five new beekeepers each year. After it's extracted, everyone who helps or watches gets to taste some of the fresh honey. This is a happy moment for the young beekeeper. He's proud of his first harvest. The first honey always tastes best. It's always nicer when you make something yourself rather than getting it from a stranger. Especially now, when many organic products are for sale. Now you belong to a big family. I think it's fantastic. Another novice beekeeper, Carsten Brethauer, lives a few kilometers away. He's already finished extracting his honey, and he and his daughter are selling it in jars. Last year, he also leased bees, but now he has seven of his own colonies. His daughter wants to train as a beekeeper, too. Most people are afraid of bees. I used to be very frightened of them. I'm still afraid of beetles, but not of bees anymore. Last year I even went out and looked at the bees with papa in short pants and a top. If you know they sting only if they feel threatened, that makes it simpler. Jürgen Wolter experienced another surprise at the end of the day. He's allowed to take his two colonies home with him. He's already prepared the site for them. From now on, the bees belong to him. He's responsible for them and can extract their honey. And how does that make you feel? I'm very happy, finally at home. The leasing year was a complete success for the bees and for their new proud owner. Hello, bees.